In this video, I will show how to multiply and divide numbers, including decimals, by 10, 100, 1,000, and so on. In other words, powers of 100. In order to multiply and divide by powers of 10, we're going to count the number of zeros. For example, 10 has one zero. 1,000 has three zeros. And we're going to move the decimal point that many places. For multiplication, we're going to make the number bigger, so move the decimal point to the right. For division, we're going to make the number smaller, so move the decimal point to the left. Let's see some multiplication examples. 34 times 10. So we start with 34. The decimal point right now is here because it is a whole number. The whole number part is to the left of the decimal. And I'm going to move the decimal point one place to the right. I need to add a zero. This answer is 340. In the next example, we need to move the decimal point three places to the right, which means I'm going to be tacking on three zeros. So I have my 240 and then I move this three places to the right, which in effect is going to put on three zeros. So I get 240,000. The next number already has a decimal point in it. So I have 3.4. I move it one place to the right, and I get an answer of 34. In the next example, I'm going to be moving the decimal point three places to the right. One, two, three. So I'm going to have to add on one zero. I'm going to get nine eight zero zero, which is nine thousand eight hundred. In my final example, I'm going to move the decimal point two places to the right because one hundred has two zeros. I get 2.56, which is red, 2 and 56 one hundredths. Now let's do some division examples. 34 divided by 10. The decimal point is right here. I'm going to divide by 10, which will make the number smaller. I'm going to move the decimal point one place to the left, and I get an answer of 3 and 4 tenths. In this example, I'm going to move the decimal point three places to the left because I have three zeros. Decimal point starts here, one, two, three places, and I get 240 thousandths. Here's another way to write division with the slash line. I'm going to move the de decimal point one place to the left and get 82 hundredths. In this case, I'm going to move the decimal point one place to the left. Initially, it's in front of the two. I'm going to move it one place to the left, and I'm going to have to introduce a zero right here. So the answer here is 0 0.0256, which is read 256 ten thousandths. Another way to write division is as a fraction. This is going to move the decimal point three places to the left. One place puts it in front of nine, and two more places is going to require two additional zeros. I get 98 ten thousandths. And in my final example, I have 740 divided by 100, which has two zeros. Moving the decimal point two places over, I get seven and four tenths. If you'd like to have the zero on there, that's fine. You'd have seven and forty one hundredths. Have a great day.